today we have another special guest here in the Love 225 studio. This is a special young woman with a special gift and an even more incredible story that you just have to hear and see to believe. I can't wait to share it with you. Miss Arielle Simone, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. So first, I didn't give the people a good tease. You are a singer, not a singer, you can sing. Thank you. You, I mean, I told you this a few weeks ago, blown away, super talented. How long have you been a vocalist? I started off as a kid. I kind of didn't take it serious until like high school. And when I went to Southern University, my second semester, um, I transferred from instrumentation into uh, taking my vocals more serious. So I became a vocal um, major my second semester. And you even joined um, a sorority. Yes. Right? Talk uh, to me about that. I joined Sigma Alpha Iota, which is an international uh, music fraternity for women, um, in 2013. And it helps. It has helped to cultivate me um, even more as a musician. So you and I have been talking, because obviously I was blown away at your talent, because you're super sweet, you're super humble, but that voice is, oh my gosh. So talk to me, but when I got to know you, when I, I called you, I gave you a call and we talked, that was when I was really surprised to learn more about your story. There was a little bit of divine intervention that led to you using that voice even more, right? Talk to me about that. Well, um, I didn't share this, but um, I'm a gunshot survivor. And, um, you know, I had my moments of, like, about to depression in and out. And, you know, sometimes I go back and I reflect on those moments where, you know, I'm like, I could have succumb to that that gunshot you know but it's like why am i still here like and i prayed and asked god to reveal to me like god you know i'm in this dark place but what can like what are you using from what i've gone through to either pour into someone else some my story may inspire someone else to keep going you know so those were little things that kept me going like in that moment of darkness talk to me about this shooting because the timing kind of lined up in a way where I mean, from when I talk to you, mm -hmm. it sounds like this had to be a huge impact, not just on that time, but that's going to be a moment yeah. you remember forever, right? You were oh, yeah. a senior in high school. Kind of paint the picture for us of what happened. Okay, so I was a senior in high school. Um, the week before, I had just got crowned homecoming queen. Um, the Friday before, we had a, a football game, and, you know, I was in band and everything. And that day, you know, we were like, hey, you know, it's senior year. We didn't really get a chance to do anything together. So we were like, hey, let's go to New Orleans and have a good time or whatever, you know. Collectively, me and uh, six of my other classmates went. So um, funny story is that day I took the ACT test that morning and I, I had this weird feeling. I don't know where it came from, but I, I just kept feeling weird. And I would usually... Um, I would usually go to the gym and do Zumba, but that day I was extremely tired. So what happened was one of my friends, uh, you know, was like, hey, you know, let's let's go out tonight or whatever. And I was like, okay, cool. Um, so we ended up going to New Orleans and the feeling stopped altogether. Got there. We're at this, um, it's like a boxing gym, the arena that uh, they had it, the programming or whatnot. And... Um, I just remember, you know, everybody running. You know, you see one per one person run, we all like take off running. So, I just remember running, and I remember hearing six gunshots go up in the air. And the next thing I, I realized, I was on the ground. And when I got up, I felt this pain in my shoulder. And I looked, and I saw I had, you know, blood gushing down my arm. So, we were running to the ambulance. Um, me and my other classmates, of course. And I was like, y'all, somebody called 911. I got shot. We got to the hospital. They got me um, settled and everything. I had another classmate that um, was in critical condition, and they rushed him to immediate surgery, and I was in stable condition. But by the grace of God, everything turned out good. Um, the bullet came out a month later, and I'm, I'm here. Wow. And you're here. You're sharing mm -hmm. your talents and gifts with folks. So yes. tell me, from that time to now, what have you learned about Ariel, and what is it that you want to share about your story with people? What's your message to people? My message to people is literally don't lean into your own understanding. I know that might sound like a little cliche, so to speak, but literally, God's plans for us can supersede what we may feel in that moment or what we may feel about ourselves altogether, but keep going. There's purpose in your pain. Lean not on your own understanding. Amen. Thank you so much You're for welcome. joining us. You're going to... 
this song is dedicated to those who question their purpose on a daily basis. Look for the light that's on the inside of you that you were born with, whether you're aware of it or not. So this is your time to tap in. It's getting kind of hard to tame my mane with a misplaced crown. I feel that I'm at war, trying to refrain from looking down. Everywhere I go, I feel that I am out of place. Let me analyze, reevaluate. I may need a change of pace. It's the time to dive down deep inside of me. I have to challenge these demons so that I set free i'm searching for the light with my eyes closed asking god for guidance to carry mission overload why this is why this is why it's the torch that i'm holding that lets me know that i'm one of god's chosen there's no time for self-loathing may my actions follow words spoken it's the torch that I'm holding that lets me know that I'm one of God's chosen. There's no time for self-loathing. May my actions follow words spoken. Each time I look in the mirror, I see a new part of me unfold. I see unhealed wounds from stories that haven't yet been told. Then I see perfect imperfections that are worth more than gold, more than gold, yes. Don't stress, some days are really cloudy, some days the rain pours, some days are full of sunshine, sometimes life's a bore. Life's biggest blessings usually come after a storm. It makes you question, what the hell was that that I've been through before? Oh, it's the torch that I'm holding. It's the torch that I'm holding. Yeah. Oh, the gold.